The events of the story took place in the Bani Israel and it was narrated by Al-Bukhari in his book of Ahadith on the authority of Abu Huraira. May God be pleased with him who narrated it from our master Muhammad. Peace be upon him. May God bless him and grant him peace. Hello. How is your work now? This is what I came to you for, my lord. For in order to spin heavy cloaks and sell them, I need wool. This is normal. What if you give me wool when shearing the sheep and then share the profit with me? No, no, no. I do not guarantee that it will be profitable or not. Give me the price of wool, gold dinars. How much do you want then? A thousand dinars, but for you, only nine hundred. Well, when the money is available, I will come and buy wool from you. I will wait for you only two days if you are late. I will sell the wool to others. <sighs> Get us some food, Abrasha. By God, my husband, there is nothing in our house anymore. So what do we do? Is there nothing in our hut to sell and buy food for? I sold all our excess clothes and belongings. لينفق ذو سعة من سعته ومن قدر عليه رزقه فلينفق مما آتاه الله لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا ما آتاه I'm going to offer myself to work as a lumberjack. But you are the best dressmaker in our city. And what is the value of that when I do not find wool to spin? You need a thousand dinars to start a profitable business. Are you kidding? And where would I get this money? I heard that a man named Ariel lends to people without interest. Where does this good man live? Ask in the market for him and you will surely find someone to guide you. Well, I'll get up right away to look for him. Sorry I came to you so late, Mr. Ariel. No, my house is actually quite far away. Is there a service I can offer you? My name is Yaram. I heard that you lend to people without interest and I want to start a trade but I can't find the capital. How much do you need? A thousand dinars, if possible. Well, I'll get the money. Right now? I mean, we are alone. And what's the problem with that? There must be witnesses to the loan. Let's wait for witnesses to come. God is not enough of a witness? There were a sponsor. He will guarantee your money. God is not enough of a guarantor? I do not know what to say to you. Promise me that you will return the loaf after one year without delay. Of course. This is an agreed duration between us and I will strive to return it before that. A moment and I shall bring you a thousand dinar. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu idha tadayantum bidaynin ila ajalin musamman faktubuh wal yaktub baynakum katibun bil adl ولا يأب كاتب أن يكتب كما علمه الله فليكتب وليمل للذي عليه الحق وليتق الله ربه ولا يبخس منه شيئا فإن كان الذي عليه الحق سفيها أو ضعيفا أو لا يستطيع أن يمله فليمل الوليه بالعدل وَاسْتَشْهِدُوا شَهِيدَيْنِ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ فَإِنْ لَمْ يَكُونَا رَجُلَيْنِ فَرَجُلٌ وَامْرَأَتَانِ مِمَّنْ تَرْضَوْنَ مِنَ الشُّهَدَاءِ أَنْ تَضِلَّ إِحْدَاهُمَا فَتُذَكِّرَ إِحْدَاهُمَا الْأُخْرَى وَلَا يَأْبَ الشُّهَدَاءُ إِذَا مَا دُعُوا وَلَا تَسْأَمُوا أَنْ 
تكتبوه صغيرا أو كبيرا إلى أجله ذلكم أقسط عند الله وأقوم للشهادة وأدنى ألا ترتابوا إلا أن تكون تجارة حاضرة تديرونها بينكم فليس عليكم جناح ألا تكتبوها وأشهدوا إذا تبايعتم ولا يضار كاتب ولا شهيد وإن تفعلوا فإنه فسوق بكم واتقوا الله ويعلمكم الله والله بكل شيء عليم Uh, I've made all the gowns, thank God. But we didn't sell any one of them. I don't know why people don't buy these gowns, when I do my best to spin them. These woolen cloaks are too heavy for the heat and people do not need them here. We are supposed to be in the winter, I don't know where this hot weather has come from. This is our luck and our fate, thank God anyway. Listen my husband, why don't we travel to the north? where the weather is cold and people need heavy cloaks more. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. It is worth considering. You didn't pay the right fare. We will pay. How much do you want? 100 gold dinars. You only take 20 dinars from each passenger. You are two and these heavy boxes are worth the weight of three people. That's a lot. Pay him the fare and when we reach the north and sell our wares, the money will double. Well, take the hundred dinars. Come dine with the passengers. But... Don't be afraid of anything. Food is included in the fare, please. Give me a cloak. And me too. And I want three. I came first. I want this blue one. Please, please, do not quarrel people. We have enough items for everyone. The price is fixed at 50 gold dinars for each gown. Hurry up, Abrasha, and open the rest of the boxes. I'm working at full speed. Please, sir, could you give me the money? What a cold weather! Praise be to God. This rain helped us and promoted our goods. Don't forget that I came up with the idea. You always bring goodness and blessings, my wife. Finally, the sale is over. Let's rest a little in the room we rented. No, I don't think I can sleep. Why? It's time to pay off the debt. But there are no ships in this bad weather. What is the fault of Mr. Ariel, who lent me the money? You are helpless and there's nothing to feel guilty about. The boys are hungry, Ariel. Serve whatever food you have. What we have is enough for them alone and not enough for us both. You eat with the children with bliss and health. I am not hungry. Why torture yourself to prove you are right? What do you mean, Hufira? We were well off, so you started lending this one and lending that one without thinking about tomorrow. We lend to people hoping to please God alone. And everything that God writes for us, we accept and we are satisfied with it. Do you remember the man? Who you lent a thousand dinars? Yes, his name is Yaram. It's time to get your money back. Actually, he travels by sea. And you say it's so simple. What if he ran away with your money and he never returns it? Never misjudge people, my beloved wife. I'm sure he's gone and won't be back.
يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم What do I do now? I must pay back my debt, but not a single ship risks traveling. Hmm, what is this huge log? Ah, good idea. <laughs> Great, there, done. Now all that remains is to write the letter. This money, which is a thousand dinars of gold, shall be handed over to Ariel from Bani Israel, in the south of the outskirts of the city, in fulfillment of an old debt. Okay. Now I need to seal the plank. Yeah. <clears throat> Wonderful. Ah. Oh God, I entrust my money to you alone. Oh Lord. He threw the plank into the sea in the midst of the storm. The plank floated in the water in the midst of the high waves with a thousand dinars inside. And a letter showing the address of the creditor with the money. What did you say? A thousand dinars were thrown into the sea? I did not throw it into the sea, my wife. But I put it inside a plank and closed it tightly. And what's the difference? Do you think the plank would reach the creditor and knock on his door? I had no other way to repay the debt on time. Is your conscience clear about what you did? I don't know. By God, O oh Abrasha. Did I do well to trust in God, or did I act foolishly and hastily? Do you want my opinion? Of course. You haven't returned the money yet, and you have to work hard to collect it again and give the man his money in his hand as he did to you. True, but in any case, I will be late for my promise and fall short of honoring the man who honored me. May God forgive me. إن الله يأمركم أن تؤدوا الأمانات إلى أهلها وإذا حكمتم بين الناس أن تحكموا بالعدل إن الله نعم ما يعظكم به إن الله كان سميعا بصيرا What a cold weather the wind is coming from the north. I voluntarily lent my money to a man I think is honest. Of course. Perhaps he was prevented from returning the money by some accident or misfortune? Maybe. I will go to the seashore. Perhaps I find a ship that has returned or a messenger who will bring me news from him. <sighs> Don't forget to bring wood so we can light a fire on the cold night. I will, I will, God willing. The wool we brought from here is of good quality. I have completed work today, thank God. And I sold all the women gowns you gave me. How much money did we collect? More than 500 dinars. Oh, we still have a long way to go. Rest assured, dozens of women want to buy more gowns, but want them decorated with patterns and colors. The important thing is that we collect a thousand dinars to compensate for what we lost in the sea. Yes, we shall be relieved from the burden of loan. How are you, Mr. Ariel? I'm fine, thank God. I really think that Yaram will get you your money back. Yes, I think he has honor and honesty. <laughs> oh, poor soul. Honesty and decency is nowhere to be found. Ever since the departure of our prophets, Moses and Harun. Incorrect. Good manners exist in all ages and times. As an optimistic man, this is my advice to you. It seems that the man is right. No ship can sail in this storm.
Thank God we collected a thousand dinars and more. Let's catch that ship. Hello, sir. Okay. Please take a ride. You again, Mr. Elsha? Are you going to the south? Yes. Where are your heavy goods? I sold it all, and I will not give you more than the fare of two riders. I know the reason for your eagerness to come back. What is it? You want to return your debt to its owner. Yes, all I hope is to find him alive and that he may not be harmed by my delay. Forgive me, Mr. Ariel. Forgive you for what? By God, I have endeavored to search for a boat to bring you your money, but I have not found a boat before the one I came in. My money? But you already gave it back to me. How? God has given it back on your behalf. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. I will tell you everything. I was at the seashore waiting for a ship to bring you or a messenger from you. As for me, I advise you not to stay long in this cold weather, so as not to catch cold. <laughs> it seems the man is right. No ship can navigate this storm. But what is this? What is this floating plank? Ah, it's what I need to start a fire with. This is enough wood. Great wood, I'll make a fire with it. Wait, Hufaira! What is this? Oh God! One, two, three, four? Wait, wait until I read the letters that come with the dinars. Return of the loaf from Yarm? Ah! Oh. What is in the message? Why are you crying, my husband? What are you reading? These are my thousand dinars, returned to me by the one who borrowed it across the sea. Take it and read it for yourself. God has given you your loan. Wow, the plank reached you across the sea and this money has also reached you. You owe me nothing. This thousand dinars belong to you. My money has reached me. Thank God. How honorable are you, O oh God? We trusted in God and the best of the reliance is the one on Him indeed. And He has honored both of us.